Beneath the striking facade of Las Vegas, where high-stakes gamblers dominate, there stands a person who has caught the interest of thousands online, the Vegas Low Roller. With his straightforward approach and upfront comments, this everyday gambler has managed to turn his modest betting hobbies into a YouTube hit. While his videos showcase the entertainment and thrill of low-stakes gambling, there lies a darker aspect to the story that not many people know about. Who's the man behind the camera? What makes his content so engaging, his personality so likable, and what secrets does he keep hidden from his loyal followers? Today, we peel back the layers of the Vegas low roller's life, revealing unseen pressures and hardships, and the brilliant mind that drives it. Daniel Lorenzo Manichae, the person behind Vegas low roller, is a prominent Las Vegas-based gambler who specializes in low to mid-stakes gambling. He launched his YouTube channel in 2011, which has grown significantly, accumulating over 352 million views. His content revolves around his experiences at different casinos in Las Vegas, providing tips and insights about slot machines and a variety of gaming while emphasizing responsible gambling practices. However, Daniel's journey to fame wasn't always smooth. Before becoming a YouTuber, he was just another hardworking, passionate guy with goals. Daniel was born in a war-torn region and his early life was fraught with difficulties. His family had to struggle to keep themselves safe from everyday dangers, including a narrow escape from shooters and losing their home to a rocket attack. Later, they settled in Beirut, Lebanon. Daniel was eventually moved to the United States, where he stayed with his uncle. Daniel's struggle didn't end there. He had to deal with bullying at school for his introverted and timid personality. His increasing weight was a major concern. At the age of 23, he weighed 513 pounds and had developed a smoking habit. Despite these hurdles, Daniel's dedication reflected through. He worked relentlessly to rebuild his life and pursue his marketing job, putting in 80-hour work weeks. However, work stress took its toll, resulting in a near-fatal overdose whilst visiting his father in Louisiana. It served as a turning point in Daniel's life and he resolved never to consume drugs again, instead focusing his energy on his work and subsequently building his YouTube community. After reuniting with his family and attending to his critically ill father, Daniel fulfilled his promise to take his mother to Las Vegas, buy a house, and live peacefully. The next thing he did was create his YouTube channel, which promptly grew into a devoted fan community. Despite being a camera-conscious person with little flexibility due to his weight, Daniel gathered the courage to face the screen due to the encouragement his subscribers provided him. At the age of 39, he started off his journey of self-improvement, following medical consultation to start insulin treatment for uncontrolled diabetes, which he openly shared with his audience. He launched his YouTube channel, Vegas Low Roller, on October 13, 2011 and has published over 38000 videos with over 352 million video views and has garnered a loyal subscriber base of 3.6 locks. As for his net worth, Daniel is estimated to be worth at least $2 million. The channel's popularity is perhaps due to Daniel's quality content, especially his gambling suggestions for newbies and those who are interested in low-risk games. Daniel was exposed to gambling by his parents and spent hours watching them, which established the foundation for his expertise. Although he plays on low to mid stakes, his knowledge and skills help him to win more frequently than he loses, with average bets ranging from $100 to $200 each session. While his profits might not be as significant compared to those of high stakes gamblers, his technique is realistic and approachable, making his channel an important asset for many. But the question remains, is promoting gambling worth the risk when it could end up in addiction, financial ruin, and broken lives? In addition to YouTube, Daniel earns through selling branded merchandise, which adds another layer to his income. He also has a background in PR and marketing and was once involved in producing an online game called Fallen Age. From humble beginnings to becoming an admired figure in his community, his story is truly inspiring. This is all for this video. Tell us what you think about him and his content in the comments down below. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe, and press the bell icon to stay updated. Thanks for watching.